Well, hello there, YouTube. How in the heck are you guys doing today? I am on my way home on a Friday from work. On the old speeder. I got out late, so I'm kind of coming through here a little late. But that doesn't make it any less beautiful out here. This is my road right here. you guys are having a wonderful I don't know when I'll post this I'm backlogged a bit so whatever day it is for you today I hope you're having an awesome awesome day and everything's going great with you and yours your life your friends family loved ones so on and so forth everything's uh, everything's doing just hunky dory with with me and mine, I guess you could say. These sunny days are making things a whole lot nicer. The fact that it's just, it, we're coming into that type of year, it's just that it's this time of the year, you're just, you're happy for, I mean, you're just giddy as a schoolboy for about a month. You know, because really this is not the time of year for the, the to be this nice we'll get these little teaser days or a few days or whatever and the fact that Sunday it's supposed to start raining again um, is a uh, you know proof that we're not out of the not out of the woods yet That tree is, <clears throat> excuse me, that, that tree is almost all the way out of the water now, isn't it? It is out of the water, tip of it is anyway. Isn't that weird how <clears throat> debris and stuff that's come down through it just debarked that tree? I love that little bridge. Man, is this evening light beautiful. She is some kind of pretty out here. We'll get you out here in the wind a little bit. Enjoy some of this sunshine in the breeze. That's a weird feeling taking a turn, standing up on this thing. Lady out there watering her garden, probably looking at the crazy guy standing up on a motorcycle going, what the hell is he doing? What's wrong with that boy right there? Construction stuff going on. Oh, I'm getting pelted by bugs. Doesn't look like I got anything on the lens, so you're somewhat safe. Oh man. Forgot about facing you right in the sun. I come through here the other direction yesterday and these kids were down in this little slough swimming. Looks like they might have been doing the same thing again today. <laughs> I like this. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Are you guys swimming in that water? Because somebody was in bathing suits here yesterday. I thought, man, it's too cold to be swimming. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that water cold? Yeah, so huh? You guys are crazy. Be careful. You people are crazy. There's no water that moves around here that didn't start life up at a mountain somewhere. I mean, in the middle of summer, the creeks and stuff are too cold to swim in. It's going to be a large body of water that doesn't move real fast. To, it is not bone-chillingly cold. Uh, that little girl scared the hell out of me at first. I thought somebody was hurt and she was flagging me down. Well, she did flag me down, but I, I mean, I thought it was going to be like, Oh, dear Lord, what have I just got myself into here? Talking about kids swimming down there and I thought she's gonna tell me somebody went under and I can't find them. It's amazing the crap that goes through your head and just a boop. 
a split second. Not often somebody flags you down going down the road. Kids are extremely outgoing nowadays. You ever notice that? Crazy. I mean, I like it, you know. But I don't like people to feel all shy and scared of everybody. But you probably shouldn't flag some guy right down the road on the motorcycle down either. It could be some crazy old bastard. You never know. Mm, I wish you could see Rainier sitting out there. I do have a camera coming that may may rectify that but I think I think because of the price and who it's made by and another camera that they already have out the quality is going to be absolute junk so I don't have high hopes but the price is for what it does whatever the price I guess is okay I don't want to tell you anything because I, I want it to be a surprise. I want you to be surprised. And I just got a text. And that was probably from the little woman. So anyway, I, I blipped that damn throttle again. The, the 15s and the 16s aren't, don't have quite the reaction if you blip the throttle. As the... Uh, the 14 and earlier one, especially the 14, that, the 14 was very sensitive, which I really liked. I, I actually wish they wouldn't have wrote that out. When you back off the throttle, it almost throw you through the windshield, you know. The worst, <laughs> the worst thing is when you had the cruise on, you reach up and go touch that brake pedal or something, and you didn't equalize the throttle, you know. I think, whoa. So I guess in a sense that was dangerous. I thought it was fun. What I really love is when you came into a corner and you backed off and you got the old back wheel chirp and then it tried to step out a little bit on you. Of course it won't because the vehicle stability control kicks in and spoils all the fun. But uh, anyway, I blip the throttle and makes them, it, it can occasionally make them shift weird. It doesn't do it as bad on the 15s and 16s because I guess enough people are doing it. <laughs> PRP must have... There's an algorithm in there that looking for the idiots that blip the throttle. On these SE models, the semi-automatics, you're supposed to just hold the throttle steady and just upshift. Like if you're you know, bombing along and you're giving it full throttle, you just, bah, just hold it and shift. It's almost like a, like a speed shifter on a modern sport bike. Anyway, on my lonely stretch of long straightaway here, I'm going to say goodbye like I do in the same place so many times. You guys are probably going. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I love that you keep coming back. And uh, I love all the comments. I wish I could answer every one of them all the time. But I just, I can't. But uh, I do read them all. So I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day now. Thanks. Bye-bye now.